Hi students, in this class we are going to study the chapter, chapter 3, pair of linear equations, isn't it? Kariya chapter in the Gilm Samshayam Gilm, Chodikyam Arakayam. Koro chapter on section by Samma Padigam, that is, Kudu. Oro session day exercise in a basic in a theory. A theory of basic in a question. About a session video and learn more than a conversation. Other than a question is practiced here. Other than that, we will move to the other one. Other than that, we will move to the other one. Okay. This chapter, 9th class. Linear equations. That is the continuation of the pair of linear equations. Linear equation means an equation whose degree is 1, isn't it? And what, what do you mean by an equation? Equation is an expression is equal to 0. Simply we can say that if a mathematical expression is equal to 0, then it is known as an equation. Or an equation is obtained by when a polynomial is equal to zero. Polynomial we have studied in the second chapter. If a polynomial is equal to zero, then it is known as an equation. Or the another definition is equality between two mathematical expressions. That is also an equation. Equality among two mathematical expressions. Let x plus 3 is equal to 0. x plus uh, 2 is equal to 5. These are all equations. Linear equation means linear equation. An equation is of the form ax plus b y x plus b is equal to 0 and uh, a not equal to 0 is known as a linear equation. Linear polynomial is e of x of is equal to a x plus b here a not equal to 0. This is a linear polynomial in one unknown. Here, it is a linear equation in one unknown, isn't it? That is the difference. A general form of a linear, general form of a linear equation in two unknowns. by plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are real constants and uh, a square plus b square is not equal to 0. This is the general form of a linear equation in Two unknowns. Example: 2x plus 3y minus 4 is equal to 0. x plus 2y is equal to 5, etc. Isn't it? Linear equation in one unknown we have studied here ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 but a square plus b square is not equal to 0. A pair of linear equation means pair means 2. Pair of linear equation it is of the form a general form of a pair of linear equations 
is a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to zero. a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 is equal to zero. Where a1 b1 c1, a2 b2 c2 all are real constants. And where a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are real constants constants and a1 square plus b1 square is not equal to 0 and a2 square plus b2 square is also not equal to 0 is known as a pair of linear equations. Pair of linear equations means it has two linear equations of two unknowns. Here the unknowns are x and y. A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 are constants and are known as real constants, isn't it? If two lines are intersecting at a point, then they are known as intersecting lines. Types of lines. If they are lying in a plane, first one is intersecting lines. Intersecting lines. If two lines are intersecting at a point, if two lines are intersecting at a point, they are mass intersecting lines. They are known as intersecting lines, isn't it? Intersecting lines are which is the intersecting lines L1 and L2. Here these two lines in the plane are intersecting at a point. Therefore, these lines are known as intersecting lines. Second line is parallel lines. If two lines are not intersecting at any point, if two lines are not intersecting at any point, here we have two lines L1 and L2. And uh, these lines are not intersecting at any point. So, the distance between any two points on these two lines are same. Therefore, these lines are known as parallel lines, isn't it? Now we have one more line, coincident lines. These things we have studied in the ninth class. But using this concept, we have to study something about the lines. Here, this is L1, and uh, we have another line L2 on L1. Here L1 and L2 are known as coincident lines. Coincident lines. Isn't it? So we have three types of lines. One is intersecting lines, one is parallel lines, and the third one is coincident lines. Tandem lines are parasparam intersect together. 
ഒരു പോയിന്റ് ഇന്റർസെക്ട് ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആ ലൈനിന് ഇന്റർസെക്ടിംഗ് ലൈൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകും രണ്ട് ലൈനുകൾക്ക് ഇടയിലുള്ള ഡിസ്റ്റൻസുകൾ എല്ലാവരും ഒരേപോലെ ആയാൽ അതിനെ നമ്മൾ പാരലൽ ലൈൻസ് ഉണ്ടാകും ഒരു ലൈനിന്റെ പുറത്തുകൂടി മറ്റൊരു ലൈൻ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അതിനെ കോയിൻസിഡൻ ലൈൻ എന്നാണ് പറയുക മനസ്സിലായില്ല അടുത്തത് ഈ ലൈൻസിന്റെ നമ്മുടെ പേർ ഓഫ് ലിനിയർ ഇക്വേഷൻസും ഈ ലൈൻസും തമ്മിൽ റിലേഷൻ ആണ് ഓടിക്കാൻ സൊല്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് എ പെയർ ഓഫ് solution of an equation means what solution of an equation is the relation between the variables and the that relation satisfy the given equation isn't it there are two methods to find the solution of a pair of linear equations they are first one is graphical method graphical method and second one second method is algebraic method algebraic method in graphical method we can find a solution by drawing the graph is it So, graph is used to find the solution of the graph. So, we will find the graphic method. So, we will find the concept of the four intersecting lines. So, we will find the solution of the graph. For intersecting lines, it has only one solution. The point of intersection of two graphs is the solution of the intersecting lines. If the lines are parallel, then there is no solution. And if the lines are coincident, it has infinitely many solutions or infinite solutions. Let us see some examples.
that is for the axis x axis when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 this is the point when x is equal to y is equal to when x is equal to here just draw a line and uh, intersecting from 1 this is the point 2 1 join draw a line passing through these two points first graph is like this this is the graph x minus 2 y is equal to 0 isn't it now when x is equal to 0 is equal to 5 x 0 y 5 here And uh, when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 2. Draw a line perpendicular from 4 and the uh, other side from 2. So here the point is 4, 2. Now join these two points. Draw a line passing through these two points, isn't it? This is the equation of the line ellipsa plus 4 is equal to me. solution and the solution is the point of intersection of these two lines and this is the solution how to find the point of intersection of these two lines draw perpendicular from the point of intersection to x axis and the uh, y axis If we draw perpendiculars from the point of intersection to the x axis and the y axis, and uh, this point is 4, 2, this is the solution of the equation. Therefore, solution is x is equal to 4 and uh, y is equal to 2. x is equal to 4 and uh, y is equal to 2. Is it? This is the solution of a pair of linear equations in a graphical method or in a graphical way. Now, another question is 2x plus 3y is equal to n. 4x plus uh, 6y is equal to 18. In the first step equation, 2x plus 3y is equal to 9. Here, when x is equal to 0, 3y is equal to 9, therefore, y is equal to 3. When x is equal to 3, 2 into 3 plus 3y is equal to 9, 3y is equal to 9 minus x3, therefore y is equal to 1, 3 by 3 is 4, isn't it? In the second graph, 4x plus 6y is equal to 18. Here when x is equal to 0, 4 into 0, 0, 6y is equal to 18. Therefore, y is equal to 18 by 6, that is 3. And when x is equal to 
it's the same for the one. Four and the one, four plus six y is equal to eighteen. Six y is equal to eighteen minus four, fourteen. Y is equal to fourteen by six. That is seven by three. That is two point three. Two point three. Is it two point three? Three. Two point three. Now we will draw the graph of these lines. This is x-axis and this is y-axis. Then x is equal to zero, we is equal to three. Then x is zero, we is three. This is the point. Then x is equal to three, we is equal to one. X three is here, we is one. Draw a perpendicular line, line, and uh, intersect from one. This is the point uh, three one. Then x is equal to three, we is equal to one. Join these two lines. This is the graph of the first linear equation. It is two x plus three y is equal to nine, isn't it? Now we are going to draw the second graph. Then x is equal to zero, y is equal to three. X is zero, y is equal to three. The same line, same point. Then x is equal to one, y is two point three. X is equal to one here. Two point three is draw a line here. It is here. Draw a perpendicular line from the y-axis and the intersect from the x-axis. This is the now join these two points. Draw a line passing through these two points. So we get a coincident line. Isn't it? This is the equation of the line four x plus six y is equal to eighteen. So these two lines are coincident lines, isn't it? Let us discuss with another example. X plus two y is equal to Minus four is equal to zero, and two uh, x plus four y minus twelve is equal to zero. In the first graph, x plus two y minus four is equal to zero. So we can say that x plus two y is equal to four minus four becomes plus four, isn't it? When x is equal to zero. X is zero. Then two y is equal to four. Therefore, y is equal to four by two is two. And when if we put y is equal to zero, y is equal to zero. So x plus two into zero is equal to four. Therefore, x is equal to four. Here we can draw the shading. When x is zero, y is two, and when y is zero, x is four, isn't it? Now in the second equation, two x plus four y is equal to twelve minus twelve becomes plus twelve. Here also x y. When x is equal to zero, here four into three is equal to three is equal to three. And uh, when y is equal to zero, here two into six is equal to two, isn't it? Six.
Now let us draw the graph of this function. Here, from the x-axis mark 4 and uh, in the y-axis mark 2, draw a line passing through these two points. This is the first graph. Graph of the first equation x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. Isn't it? Now, graph of the second equation. Here, mark x in the x-axis. Mark 6. And uh, on the y-axis, mark 3. This is the point. Now join these two. We get another straight line for the graph of the second law equation. This is the graph of 2x plus 4y minus 12 of c plus here, these two lines are parallel, isn't it? So, there is no solution. If two lines are parallel, then there is no solution. For well, these equations have no solution, isn't it? Using graphical method, we can find the solution of a pair of linear equations. There are three methods. One is intersecting lines, the second one is coincident lines, and the third one is parallel lines. If the lines are intersecting, then it has only one solution. If the lines are coincident, it has infinite solutions, and uh, if the lines are parallel, then it has no solution. Isn't it?